guys welcome back today I am going to do a craft with me video I have done a craft with me once before and I made like little DIY paper clips so today we are probably gonna make some more paper clips if you watched one of my recent hauls I hauled these little Beauty and the Beast buttons as well as these little mermaid buttons so I wanted to turn those into paper clips Okay, so let's backtrack for a sec. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Bianca, and I love all things planner supplies, DIY, you name it, and I'm pretty much obsessed with it. So, if you watched what's in my planner bag, I will leave the link to that video down below if you've missed it, but I asked for recommendations for planner spreads, and I jotted them all down. Thank you so much if you left a planner spread idea. And if you didn't, you can leave one in the comments down below. So, a lot of you guys wanted to see a princess theme. So, I went on the hunt for princess themed planner supplies or like stickers. So, all of those videos I will leave in the description box below. And I did mention how like I could not really find a lot of princess stuff. And y'all were suggesting that I go to the DT. Which, you know, your girl loves the DT. And I did go to the DT after I had uploaded that video or that vlog, honestly could not find anything. And then I posted that video and a lot of y'all were saying like, go to the DT. So I was like, you know what? Y'all must have seen some, let me go. A sweet subscriber and follower on Instagram sent me some pictures of her planner spreads that she did like Disney princess themes. And she got a lot of stuff from the DT. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the DT and I'm gonna hunt this stuff down. And I did, find quite a few items and I'm really excited about that. I did pick up some of this stuff at Party City because another sweet subby said check out Party City and Party City was where it was at. So I plan on like using this. I picked this up at Party City. This is let's see this is the Little Mermaid themed confetti. So I thought maybe I could make a planner pocket, not a planner pocket, a shaker pocket to put into my planner. So I have this here. I definitely wanted to turn these into paper clips like I mentioned before. I also picked up this birthday card at Party City as well. Regular price $4.69, but it rang up 50% off and it came with stickers. So how awesome is that? This is what I plan to use for my planner pocket. There I go again, my shaker pocket. I actually cannot find the little sheets that I use for shaker pockets. So this is a sheet protector for like the little binder. So I'm gonna try to use this. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. So let's go ahead and get the glue gun warmed up. Okay, I have the glue gun on. And okay, let's see how this is gonna work if I use these little pockets. I mean sheet protectors. I cannot get my life together today, y'all. Okay, so they already, it's gonna be hard to see, but it since it is a sheet protector, it already has pre-punched holes, which aren't gonna line up well with my happy planner. So let me try to figure this out real quick. Okay, super hard to see, but I finally got all of the holes kind of fixed. And so here's what it's gonna look like. I am actually going to cut Ariel out or like, it says granddaughter, so I definitely don't want that. I'm probably gonna cut around it. Um, okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna work on first. I'm gonna work on my shaker pocket shaker card. So let me move my planner out of the way. Let's see, I plan to use this card like so. I plan to use this. I might decorate, because this is what the back's gonna look like. I may use some more stickers to, oh, look how cute she is. Maybe I can cut her out and put her over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll just let you follow along with some music.
you can see, I cut out Ariel, or both of them from the card, and now I'm gonna whip out my little handy dandy sticker maker. Now, this is like an old series from Hobby Lobby. They have a newer version, I believe, and it doesn't look like this, or it looks similar to this, but I don't think like this style, because this one's pretty old, if they have like this exact one. So, you take the little sticker maker, and I have shown this, I think, in like a previous planner video, and I had got a few questions about it. So, I took, I'm going to take this little Ariel, and I'm going to slide her into the machine. There's a little dial here that I'm going to turn, and it's going to turn my little Ariel into a sticker. And voila, we have a little aerial sticker. I think I want to put a little flounder next to her. Let's see. These are pretty, pretty small. And this little sticker book was a dollar oh my goodness it was a dollar at party city that is a dt prices yes please okay maybe i'll just put one of these teeny tiny flounders next to her so cute <gasps> Ooh, maybe I could put some something on here. Let me get some alpha stickers. Okay. If you're new to my channel, if you're new to my planner videos, my crafting videos, I store most of my stickers in these little bitty binders and it works amazingly. Let's see. Honestly, I don't have a lot of alpha stickers. They're not something that I buy consistently. I hardly buy them. So I don't have a lot. I wonder if I can make these work. Let's see. All right, I think that looks so cute. It's probably hard to see with the lighting, but we have like some very dark purple to like a violet to like a light lavender. I think it's so pretty, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna slip this into the little sheet protector. Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some confetti. This confetti I think was four, $4 and then I want to say it was 50% off. So you know I like to get those good deals. I love how there is a variety of all the confetti and sequins. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so in this little pouch, we have some aerial icons, some seashell sequins, as well as little starfish, and some silver and blue, like, confetti sequins. <laughs> this is really cute. And in this one, we have more seashells and, like, the glitter. And in this pouch, it's the same as well. Okay, so we'll put in a few of these. Okay, so I don't want too many of these going around. I'm actually gonna put these towards the back, though they'll probably come to the front. I am going to slip this confetti packet in here. Ooh, that is so pretty. And some back here. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of these like iridescent sequins and this is from the Target dollar spot probably last fall or last winter 
and I'm gonna put just a little bit in. <sighs> yes, it needed that. Oh my goodness, yes. Let me slip some in the back as well. I am loving this. I have a few more sequins over here. Let's see. Maybe we should add a little bit of green, maybe? Just a tad. How about, ooh, some of this blue? Maybe some lavender? Yes, I'm loving this. I think it's looking so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. It says kiss the girl. That is cute. Maybe I'll use it in the actual planner spread. <gasps> perfect, how perfect is that? Okay, I think this looks absolutely fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to take this washi tape. Let's see if it'll focus. Here's what it looks like. This is from an older planner addict box, as well as the paper that I used. They did a like mermaid theme. I don't even know how long ago and I actually haven't used anything from the box and now it's coming in super handy. So I'm going to put washi tape at the tip top and then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to do this quite a few times. This isn't the most professional way to seal a little shaker pocket or a shaker card. I do have the little fuser, but you know, I just thought I would be just a little bit crafty today. And I'm not super good with the fuser tool. And this will work. Now that I have like two layers on, I'm going to put one that's like isn't going to secure it. It's going to just like make everything look more clean. And I'm going to put one strip on the front. Like where it lines up from the top perfectly. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the back because as you can tell like it's a little crooked up there. Okay, so here is a closer look at what it looks like sealed with washi tape. Okay, so here is the final little shaker pocket shaker card. I think it is so cute. The glare is going to be pretty bad, so I'm sorry if you really can't see it that well, but I think it came out super duper cute for my planner. Craft number one is complete, so let's go ahead and move on to make some paper clips. Okay, so I'm not really sure how well these are going to work out because they are a button. So they have that little piece right there that is crucial to holding it together I would think. Let me try cutting it off. Okay so I cut most of that little piece off. Okay so let me show you. Here's a button that has the little white piece on it and then here is the one that I like cut most of it off. It was holding the tail to the body but I think whenever I put the hot glue on it, secure it to the paper clip, I think it's going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have the paper clip on there and to cover up that messy back, I'm going to use one of these little pieces of confetti like that. Oh, well, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> okay, trial and error. You can see too much of it. Um, so we're going to take that off if I can. Okay. So maybe I will use, yeah, that's much better. 
Now I'm going to use the seashell to cover up the messy back. Okay, y'all, I think it turned out so, so cute. So there she is, and then that's what the back looks like. That little seashell is absolutely adorable. Oh my goodness, I think this planner spread is going to be so, so cute. Okay, for flounder, I'm gonna try to use a smaller paper clip. Let's see, should we do blue or should we do yellow? Yellow or blue? Let's do blue. pieces of this confetti let's see we'll take the pieces that have flounder yeah let's go ahead and make a paper clip with these okay that is absolutely adorable Alrighty guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I think the little shaker pocket came out so, so cute. I am obsessed with it. The little button paper clips are just going to be perfection for this upcoming planner spread. Again, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below so that we can chat. I love commenting back to you guys and I appreciate all of your sweet comments. Just for you to take the time to leave me a comment means so so much and for all of those silent watchers out there much love to you too because I watch so many videos and I never leave a comment so I totally get it. Just thanks so much for watching my videos. Well that's all I got for today and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! <laughs>